Hello friends. In this tutorial we solve question about utopian tree from hacker rank. So first of all this statement is like uh, there is a tree which is growing in two cycles. In spring it is double and during summer it's increased by one. And it has n growth cycle. So if n equal to 5 then it is like initial height is 1. First it will double then increase by one then double then increase by one then double so it like if n equals odd then it is double and if n equals even then it is increased by one so all we have to do is like just find out the height of the tree after n cycle here is a sample input three is number of test cases and for each three test cases we get number of cycles and output is like the height of our tree so let's code it first of all let me delete everything we call it from scratch first our main function integer main first we need is integer t that is our test cases and then input of the t after that we need an integer n that is a uh, number of cycle for every test cases so use for loop to get value of all test cases i equals 0 and i is less than n and i plus plus we get value of n every time okay what we have to do we have to just like simply uh, f uh, f uh, find out if it is odd then we increase our height by like, uh, if it is odd we double it and if it is even we increase it by one so let's say we have an integer h that is height of our tree right uh, so uh, initially it is h equals one now use for loop for integer j equals say zero j is less than n that is number of cycles j plus plus we simply do like if it is n is odd like uh, that is uh, value of j key j modular 2 is not equals 0 means that j is odd and for odd we double our height height equals height multiply by height else height equals uh, height plus one it is simple but one thing that we have to look at is like in case of one n equal one j equals uh, and j become one one modular two will be zero but one is the odd number so we have to like simply make j always greater than two in order to find out it is an uh, odd or even so like uh, we add j we start with j equal to 3 and we go up to j equal n j is less than n plus 3 like we simply adding 3 so now it will work after for loop we simply print out value of h end line that's it I hope you like this video and in our case we get uh, no answer response on std out did we delete something we get our input of t we get input of n Here is mistake. I hear it is T. It should be T. That is number of test cases. Oh, simple. I I just miss write it like here. We get another problem.
uh, h is not multiplying by h, h is multiplying by 2. Now it is correct. Uh, now it works. We have to double the height. We don't have to square off the height. So test cases are correct. And uh, this is uh, all test cases are correct. So we get it. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please press like button.